What's good, people? What's good, people? Big Rich here from the Big Rich Live on the Mic Radio Show. Welcome to this episode of What's the Real Deal? You know what's funny? There was a couple of things that I was going to talk about. Um, I was going to do a, um, I think last week I had said that I was going to talk about the MCU, which is the um, Marvel Cinematic Universe versus the DCEU, which is the uh, DC Cinematic Universe. Then I was like, eh, well, maybe I won't want to do that because I'm actually going to see Wonder Woman tonight uh, as this show is saying I should be in the uh, theater. So I wanted to wait, you know, even though I loved Superman, um, I did not watch and I will not watch uh, Batman v Superman. I just thought it was just stupidly put together. Um I enjoy Suicide Squad, so I wanted to see uh, Wonder Woman. That'll give me three, hopefully three good and one I never saw, or vice versa. So I, I wanted to wait. There. Then I was going to do a, I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. Let me just do a, um, a review, let you guys finally see the studio. And then I thought about, I was like, eh, you know, I don't really have everything written down, if you will, you know, so I don't have, you know, I know what I have, you know, but you need specifics, you need names, you know, and I don't have all the names, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, well, what the heck am I, I'm, I'm going to talk about? Cause I definitely got to do a show and I still don't know what to talk about. You know, I don't want to talk about Trump. I'm tired of talking about Trump, tired of talking about uh, racism, police brutality, um, you know, I'm tired of talking about that type of stuff. At least just now, you know, sometimes you just got to take a step back and, and think about life and see how you and your life affects this world that we, that we live in. And I was like, well, you know what, maybe I'll just take 10, 15 minutes to just you know, banter up. I didn't run. A, I didn't grab your you guys' uh, emails, or tweets, and stuff like that. You know, again, a lot of that stuff is to deal with. You know what just happened. You know, throughout the country, you know, with LeBron James' house in California being vandalized and the, and the N word written, uh, and then this rash. You know, I say it's a rash, a little small rash, but it's a rash of of African Americans found hanging from trees and it's always a it always seems to be well we're working this out as or we're rolling with this as a suicide even though statistics show that African Americans commit suicide so off so little that that should be that should be that shouldn't be the first thing that you always think of. But I didn't want to get in that. I just so I was like, you know what? You know, you're feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm healthy. Um, anybody don't know, you know, I I faced a bout of colon cancer last year, and uh, I'm recovered from it. But it's something that I'll have to deal with for the rest of my life. So you do that. Then four years prior that I had testicular cancer, you know. I'm retired now, but I have another business. I work a part-time job and I just opened me and a partner just opened up today's the first day, actually just launched our photography company, top photography and videography company, which is called behind the lens production. So y'all check that out. Um, you can go on Facebook, we have a Facebook page and it's uh BTL BTL or BT lens with an S productions that's um, on Facebook. And then the website is BT lens production.com. So check that out. Support us. That'd be great. We'll have a YouTube channel. We'll basically put some of the action videos that we've shot for other people and um, stuff that we shot just, off rip, you know, we do a lot of practicing and stuff like that. So we'll be putting that out there so people can actually see that and, you know, see if you want to hire us, want to work with us, collaborate with us, you know, that type of stuff right there. 
but I thought that this really wouldn't be about me. It would be more so about you as an individual because I'm blessed to have over 1300 subscribers, you know, thousands of views, you know, some are, some are really high and some are really low, you know, I don't get discouraged about the views and stuff like some people do. It's just, it is what it is. You say what you need to say and you hope that uh, people like what you say. And then you learn, you learn and you grow, you know, this, this channel has grown leaps and bounds from when I started it last uh, June, June, July, something like that. For some reason it said May, but I know it wasn't May because May I was still laid up, you know? So I think it was like July, August, you know, I, I set this up. So, you know, certain channels they get, you know, like one channel that I follow professor black truth. He has 20,000 over 20,000 subscribers and he started his around the same time, but he's that firebrand. I love him to death. I love that channel. You know, he's he just firebrand. He don't pull any punches. So that's cool. But, I, just like anybody else, likes growth, likes to have some type of growth, but like to do something and and be a voice, if you will, and be just be a positive role model to somebody. You, the subscriber, you know, obviously you're sitting here, you're riding, you, you, you're working out or whatever, and you're watching this video or you're listening to to the video, you're visiting our sites, you, you tweeting back and forth, retweeting my tweets and that type of stuff. I appreciate it. But you got to ask yourself, what what are you doing positive? You know, we, we all need to every day, every day I get up, every day the good Lord above decides to breathe air in my lungs for one more day. I ask myself, okay, what can I do? What? What can I do to be a positive influence to somebody to make a difference in somebody's life in a positive way. I wish that more people in power, see this, see, this is the thing. This is the thing. There's two ways that you can look at in law enforcement, right? You can look at, well, the more arrests that I make, the safer the public will be. You could say that. You could say that. And for the first half of my career, that's how I was. You know, make arrests. I mean, shoot. Certain weekends on on um, midnights, you know, you might work, make two or three arrests in one shift. You know, especially on a Friday or Saturday, if you work at midnight, you got to go downtown. Somebody's having some type of ball fight. Somebody's stealing somebody's purse, that type of stuff right there. But then there's another side that, unfortunately, you get when you a lot further along in your career is that you can make just as much, if not a better or bigger influence. If you help more arrest less, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so I'm just, uh, remember I said, I didn't want to get into, you know, the negative, but I'm just saying how I, my life has changed. The trajectory of I've changed to understand that, Things are bigger than me and they're bigger than you. You know, this, this world is bigger than your house is bigger than your block, your neighborhood, your town, your city, your state, your country. There's a lot of people out here. There's a lot of people. Out here. There are so many things that you can do. Not even, not necessarily you got to come out your pocket. Or you have to spend a whole lot of time with people because I'm an antisocial as it comes. It's funny. A lot of people who knew me back in the day, I'm not talking about when I was in high school because I was a class clown in high school. But right after that, when I went into the military and then I became a cop, people who met me then, they was like, dude, I have no idea how you have a YouTube channel because you are very antisocial. And I still am. But I understand that I have a, I have a responsibility to not only myself, not only my daughter, not only to my wife, my my brother and sister, who we, which we don't have the best relationship, and and I and it pains me 
that I am not motivated to, to change that, you know, to fix that. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, uh, using a, using a, um, a gospel term, you know, the Lord ain't through with me yet, you know, but, you understand that if there's something that you have to offer, there's something that you was given, some God-given ability, you know, um, maybe a God-given drive, uh, that type of stuff. It is your responsibility, in my opinion, it is all of our responsibility to provide that to people in a positive light. I just think about all of the negative things that happen in this country, in this world, you know, and, and you like, you know, if, if people would just step back and think of people other than themselves, and I'm not talking about if you're married, you only think about your, your wife or you got kids, you only think about your kid, but I'm talking about somebody who you don't know. You think about them as you would think about yourself. This world would be a better place. It's it's very easy. That's the thing is, it is very, in my opinion, it is very easy to, to pass on and share in the joy if you are about right. You know, if you are about, okay, this is my responsibility. I have this. So, no, I'm not saying if you're rich, give all your money away. I'm not saying that. But I also ask, when is enough is enough? You know, if you make $10 million a month, when is enough for you to say, okay, I've made $10 million a month for 12 months. What's that? $120 million, right? Give or take. My math is horrible. You know, or like Zuckerberg, they say that he makes $100 million a month. I don't know if that's true. But if that's the case, that's $1.2 billion in a year. And then that's about, okay, well, I made $120 million this year. I'm good. But I still want to make money, but I'm good. So why don't I, because I'm good, why don't I next year make $100 million, keep $100 million? Don't donate nothing, but open something. And start working on something with that 20 million that I can help somebody else then make some money. And then when they make money, they help somebody else to make money. Because you know what the funny thing is? The whole thing with nepotism and, and old money, if you will, that's what they do. That's, that's the concept that they do. I got a position. I'm the CEO. I have two kids that just graduated college. I get them jobs in the company that I'm a CA CEO or, or supervisor or manager director or COO or whatever. It's what I do. I do that for my family. Switch that not, not, and still take care of your family, but switch that philosophy and be like, okay, well let me reach back and grab, you know, how strong the chain would be. If everybody was to grab the person in front of them with one hand, hold on tight and then reach back and grab the person behind them and hold on tight and say, we all going to, we all going to make it because see, the thing is, is this, I don't believe in parity. And what I mean by parity is I don't mean, I don't think that everybody deserves the same because there's people who like, if, if I'm an athlete and you're not, why should you get the same thing I'm getting? I've devoted my life to this. But if you're a professor and I'm not, why should you? Why should I get the same thing as you when you devoted your life to that? So I, I, I believe in the free market. I believe that whatever your skills are, they should be. They should manifest themselves in a positive way, and they should make you soar. And you grab people and you and they saw with you. I also believe that things can get better. 
We just have to think again, like I said before, we have to think outside of ourselves. I, I'm not putting my business in the street, but I live very well, very well. I do not have to work. I work a part-time job because I work in marketing. I work in graphics, you know, public relations, social media. I love that. I love this, what I'm doing here. I love this, but I don't have to, I can go in tomorrow and be like, you know, yeah, it was good. You know, I worked three months. It was cool, but I'm gonna go home and just lay up. I can do that and not miss a beat, not skip, not one beat. So I am somebody who I feel that I can talk with a little bit more leverage and a little bit more credence because when I ask for others to give back like I give, it is not because I need. It is because other people need. And if you have enough, if you good, reach out and help somebody else. Whatever it is. I mean, whatever it is. You know, there was a show, uh, again, on on channel that one of, not one of, the, the, the channel contributor was upset that an officer had given help to these people when she should have given help to these people. I understand where he was coming from because if we don't help our own, who is? But it's not like those people didn't need to help. And you cannot, in my opinion, you cannot dog somebody else, I mean, dog somebody out because they help people who you feel that they shouldn't or you feel is left less deserving. Because when you do that, then you have people who won't help at all. You, know, you follow what I'm saying? You feel me? So I just feel that, you know, we get it together, you know, as a as a people. When I say a people, I'm talking about as a human race. I'm not talking about black people, white people, red people, you know, brown people. I'm talking about just people. If we get it together and realize that things are bigger than us, I think that you would start the ball rolling because right now the ball is it's, it's like the brakes is seized. We're on Mount Everest and we're slowly, even though the brakes is seized, we slowly sliding backwards and it, it's kind of scary. You know, it is kind of scary. You know, I was just talking to my daughter today and I say, you know, we need to get you your pistol ASAP, you know, like next week because of things that are, that are now happening because people are emboldening and because people go after soft targets. There are certain places that I don't want to go or feel uncomfortable going because of that. So we also have to realize how we make other people feel and how they're, 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 they perceive our actions. I tell my people, I was like, it doesn't really matter how you meant it. Whatever you say, whatever you do. What matters more is how it is perceived by the person you said it to or you did it to. You feel me? So you might say, well, I didn't mean it that way. Well, that's okay. Maybe you didn't mean it that way, but that's how it came out. You follow what I'm saying? So I just ask people really just to, to look within themselves and grab that morality, you know, that morality gene, look inside themselves and do a, not only do a self analysis, but be like, you know what? I'm going to do something to affect somebody in a positive way today. Just start today. You know, you don't have to do it every day, but just start today. And then again, next week, and then again, the next month. And then before you know it, this person saw you doing it, so they do it. This person seen you, this, that person saw this person do it, so then they do it. Now, you always going to have detractors. You're always going to have people who be like, man, shit, I'm good. I don't need to help nobody else. I made it, so why can't they make it? Make it? But we all know statistics is not like that. Statistics don't work that way. Everybody is not going to make it. If you put 10 people in a room with the same characteristics, the same experience the same everything all 10 of them are not going to to excel they're just not 
It's not going to happen. So, again, it was a little rambling. No, well, I hope it wasn't a rambling, but it was just some thoughts that I had that I wanted to put out and wish you guys well this weekend. Know, again, that I'm going to go see uh, Wonder Woman, or I should be watching Wonder Woman now. So that will be the movie review on Monday for Monday's show. And uh, tomorrow, Big Rich Live, we'll get back into it. I think I'm probably going to, after I done told you guys that I didn't even look at your questions, I think that we'll do a question show on Saturday and just chop it up back and forth and stuff like to see if I can answer as many questions as I possibly can. And we'll go with that. So be well, you know, that's the end of this show. Again, like I, I tried to keep it condensed, tried. I hope that you thought about what I said. And if you could look within yourself and reach out, a lot of people will appreciate it. I'm telling you. So in the meantime, in between time, stay safe, stay blessed, stay woke. Peace. And I'm out.